Thomas Piketty, French, T. M. A. Pi, K. T. Born the 7th of May 1971, is a French economist whose work focuses on wealth and income inequality. He is a professor, director d'études at the School for Advanced Studies in the Social Sciences e -E -S -S, associate chair at the Paris School of Economics and Centennial Professor at the International Inequalities Institute, which is part of the London School of Economics LSE. Piketty is the author of the best-selling book Capital in the 21st Century 2013, which emphasizes the themes of his work on wealth concentrations and distribution over the past 250 years. The book argues that the rate of capital return in developed countries is persistently greater than the rate of economic growth, and that this will cause wealth inequality to increase in the future. To address this problem Piketty proposes redistribution through a progressive global tax on wealth. Topic. Biography Piketty was born on 7 May 1971, in the Parisian suburb of Clichy, Hautes de Seine. His parents had been involved with a Trotskyist group and the May 1968 protests in Paris, but they had moved away from this political position before Piketty was born, and a visit to the Soviet Union in 1991 was enough to make him a firm believe R in capitalism, private property, the market. Piketty gained an S-stream scientific baccalaureat, and after taking scientific preparatory classes, he entered the École Normale Supérieure ENS at the age of 18, where he studied mathematics and economics. At the age of 22, Piketty was awarded his PhD for a thesis on wealth redistribution, which he wrote at the London School of Economics LSE and EHESS under Roger Gessnery and winning the French Economics Association's award for the best thesis of the year. After earning his PhD, Piketty taught from 1993 to 1995 as an assistant professor in the Department of Economics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. In 1995, he joined the French National Center for Scientific Research CNRS as a researcher, and in 2000 he became a professor, director d'études at EHESS. Piketty won the 2002 prize for the best young economist in France, and according to a list dated the 11th of November 2003, he is a member of the Scientific Orientation Board of the Association A Gauche and Europe, founded by Michel Rocard and Dominique Strauss-Kahn in 2006. Piketty became the first head of the Paris School of Economics, which he helped set up. He left after a few months to serve as an economic advisor to Socialist Party candidate Ségolène Royal during the French presidential campaign. Piketty resumed teaching at the EHESS and Paris School of Economics in 2007. He is a columnist for the French newspaper Libération, and occasionally writes op eds for Le Monde. Thomas Piketty was the partner of the politician Aurelia Filippetti. In 2009, she sued him for domestic violence. Thomas Piketty acknowledged the complaint and apologized, following which Aurelia Filippetti withdrew her complaint. In April 2012, Piketty co authored along with 42 colleagues an open letter in support of then Socialist Party candidate for the French presidency Francois Hollande. Hollande won the contest against the incumbent Nicolas Sarkozy in May of that year. Piketty was unimpressed by Hollande's tenure, later describing him as hopeless. In 2013, Piketty won the biennial Erio Johnson Award, for the economist under age 45 who has made a contribution in theoretical and applied research that is significant to the study of economics in Europe. In January 2015, he rejected the French Legion of Honor order, stating that he refused the nomination because he did not think it was the government's role to decide who is honorable. On the 27th of September 2015, it was announced that he had been appointed to the British Labour Party's Economic Advisory Committee, convened by Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell and reporting to Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn. The appointment of Piketty, who had previously advised Lord Wood, key policy advisor to former Labour Party leader Ed Miliband, that tax rates could be raised above 50% for earnings over £1 million without it impacting the economy, was seen as a particular coup for the Labour Party leadership due to his breakthrough success in the mainstream publishing world. 
Regarding this appointment he stated that he was very happy to take part and assist the Labour Party in constructing an economic policy that helps tackle some of the biggest issues facing people in the UK and that there was a brilliant opportunity for the Labour Party to construct a fresh and new political economy which will expose austerity for the failure it has been in the UK and Europe, although he reportedly failed to attend the first meeting. In June 2016, he resigned from his role in Labour's Economic Advisory Committee, citing concerns over the weak campaign the party had run in the EU referendum. On 2 October 2015 Piketty received an honorary doctorate from the University of Johannesburg and on 3 October 2015 he delivered the 13th annual Nelson Mandela Lecture at the University of Johannesburg. On the 11th of February 2017, it was announced that he had joined the socialist Benoit Hammond's campaign team in the latter's presidential run. He took in charge of EU matters, and more precisely, the Fiscal Stability Treaty or TSCG, while Julia Cage was responsible for the candidate's economic and fiscal platform. Piketty expressed his view that the TSCG should be renegotiated in order to introduce a Eurozone Assembly, composed of members of EU's parliaments. A democratic government, he said, in comparison with the current system which he views as a who is Klo? Such change would currently require a unanimous approval of all EU members, and Piketty has suggested that a change of rules might be necessary, saying that if countries representing 80% of EU's population or GDP ratify a treaty, it should be approved. He is also in favor of a credible and bold basic income, which is one of Benoit Hammond's key proposals, although their views on the matter are different. The call in which Piketty and other economic researchers argue for their version of the basic income has been criticized as not universal, a criticism he answered on his blog. Topic. London School of Economics Thomas Piketty joined the London School of Economics LSE, in 2015 as the Distinguished Centennial Professor. Piketty continues his research as part of the LSE International Inequalities Institute. His economic research focuses mainly on wealth inequalities and the use of capital in the 21st century. Piketty has long-standing ties to the London School of Economics and he completed his PhD studies at the university in the early 1990s. In addition to his research, Piketty also teaches postgraduate students at the LSE. His teaching and research approach is interdisciplinary and he has been involved in the teaching of the new MSc degree in Inequalities and Social Science at the London School of Economics. Topic. Research Piketty specializes in economic inequality, taking a historic and statistical approach. His work looks at the rate of capital accumulation in relation to economic growth over a 200-year spread from the 19th century to the present. His novel use of tax records enabled him to gather data on the very top economic elite, who had previously been understudied, and to ascertain their rate of accumulation of wealth and how this compared to the rest of society and economy. His most recent book, Capital in the 21st Century, relies on economic data going back 250 years to show that an ever-rising concentration of wealth is not self-correcting. To address this problem, he proposes redistribution through a progressive global tax on wealth. Topic. Study of long-term economic inequalities A research project on high incomes in France led to the book Les Hautes Revenues and France OXXE High Incomes in France in the 20th Century, Grasset, 2001, which was based on a survey of statistical series covering the whole of the 20th century, built from data from the fiscal services, particularly income tax declarations. He extended this analysis in his immensely popular book Le Capital OXXIE Siècle Capital in the 21st Century. A study by Emmanuel Sees and Piketty showed that the top 10% of earners took more than half of the country's total income in 2012, the highest level recorded since the government began collecting the relevant data a century ago. Topic. 
Survey on the Evolution of Inequalities in France Piketty's work shows that differences in earnings dropped sharply during the 20th century in France, mostly after World War II. He argues that this was due to a decrease in estate inequalities, while wage inequalities remained stable. The shrinking inequality during this period, Piketty says, resulted from a highly progressive income tax after the war, which upset the dynamics of estate accumulation by reducing the surplus money available for saving by the wealthiest. The normative conclusion Piketty draws is that a tax cut and thus a decrease in the financial contribution to society of the wealthy that has been happening in France since the late 1990s will assist in the rebuilding of the earlier large fortunes of the rentier class. This trend will lead to the rise of what he calls patrimonial capitalism, in which a few families control most of the wealth. Through a statistical survey, Piketty also showed that the Laffer effect, which claims that high marginal tax rates on top incomes are an incentive for the rich to work less, was probably negligible in the case of France. Topic: Comparative work. Piketty has done comparative work on inequality in other developed countries. In collaboration with other economists, particularly Emmanuel Sees, he built a statistical series based on a similar method used in his studies of France. This research led to reports on the evolution of inequalities in the U.S., and on economic dynamics in the English-speaking world and continental Europe. Sees won the prestigious John Bates Clark Prize for this work. The surveys found that following the Second World War, after initially undergoing a decrease in economic inequality similar to that in continental Europe, English speaking countries have, over the past 30 years, experienced increasing inequalities. Topic. A critic of the Kuznets curve Piketty's work has been discussed as a critical continuation of the pioneering work of Simon Kuznets in the 1950s. According to Kuznets, the long-term evolution of earnings inequalities was shaped as a curve, Kuznets curve. Growth started at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, and slackened off later due to the reallocation of the labor force from low-productivity sectors like agriculture to higher productivity sectors like industry. According to Piketty, the tendency observed by Kuznets in the early 1950s is not necessarily a product of deep economic forces e.g. sectoral spillover or the effects of technological progress. Instead, estate values, rather than wage inequalities, decreased, and they did so for reasons that were not specifically economic for example, the creation of income tax. Consequently, the decrease would not necessarily continue, and in fact, inequalities have grown sharply in the United States over the last 30 years, returning to their 1930s level. Topic. Other work Besides these surveys, which make up the core of his work, Piketty has published in other areas, often with a connection to economic inequalities. His work on schools, for example, postulates that disparities among different schools, especially class sizes, are a cause for the persistence of inequalities in wages and the economy. He has also published proposals for changes in the French pension system and the French tax system. In a 2018 paper, Piketty suggested that throughout the Western world, political parties of both the left and the right have been captured by the elites. Topic. Capital in the 21st century Capital in the 21st century, published in 2013, focuses on wealth and income inequality in Europe and the U.S. since the 18th century. The book's central thesis is that inequality is not an accident but rather a feature of capitalism that can be reversed only through state intervention. The book thus argues that unless capitalism is reformed, the very democratic order will be threatened. The book reached number one on the New York Times best-selling hardcover nonfiction list from 18 May 2014. Piketty offered a possible remedy, a global tax on wealth. In 2014, he was awarded the British Academy Medal for this book.
Topic: Personal life. He is married to fellow economist Julia Cage. Topic: Bibliography. In Frenchel's Haute's revenues face ox modifications des taux marginaux supérieurs de l'empat sur la revenue en France, 1970-1996, document de travail du CEPREMAP, N degree 9812, July 1998. Inégalités économiques, report to the Council of Economic Analysis, the 14th of June 2001, with Tony Atkinson, Michel Godet and Lucille Ollier. Les Hautes Revenues and France au Exeximes siècle, Inégalités et Redistribution, 1901-1998, ed. Grasset, September 2001. Fiscalité et Redistribution Sociale dans la France du Exexe siècle, October 2001. L'Economie des Inégalités, ed. La Découverte, April 2004. Vive la gauche américaine. Chronique 1998 to 2004, Editions de Lobby, September 2004. Pour un nouveau système de retraite, des comptes individuels de cotisations financées par répartition, Editions Rue Diolm, CEPREMAP, 2008, with Antoine Bozio. On the long run evolution of inheritance. France, 1820 to 2050, PSE Working Paper, 2010. Pour une révolution fiscale, ed. Le Soy, 2011, with Emmanuel Cies and Camille Landé. Pay it on Sovereign Europe. Chronique 2004 to 2012, Les Lines Key Liberant, 2012. Le Capital O X X I E Siècle, Soy, 2013, in English Capital in the 21st Century, Cambridge, M A, Belknap Press, 2014. About Capital in the 21st Century Air, 2015 Carbon and Inequality, From Kyoto to Paris L. Chancel, T. Piketty, PSE, 2015 Chronicles, On Our Troubled Times, Viking, 2016 Why Save the Bankers? And Other Essays on Our Economic and Political Crisis Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, 2016 Top Incomes in France in the 20th Century, Inequality and Redistribution, 1901-1998, Harvard University Press, 2018. Topic. See also Criticism of Capitalism Capital Accumulation Corporate Tax Haven